Good morning. Today is Friday, May 27th, 2022, and it is day number 139 in my fasting journey. Yesterday, I weighed in at 158.8 pounds, and this morning, I am at 158 pounds even. I lost 8 tenths of a pound since yesterday and a total of 61 pounds since the start of my fasting journey. I was very happy to see that I lost 8 tenths of a pound since yesterday when I got on the scale this morning, but I was also very surprised and the reason is because yesterday I drank so much water. I just flooded my body with as much water as my body would take. And the reason is because yesterday I woke up with this like really intense headache. And I think the cause of the headache is the fact that for my last refeed, I had an iced hazelnut decaf coffee. And the caffeine in decaf coffee is very minimal, but there's still some in there. And I am just like so sensitive to caffeine. I have absolutely no business whatsoever consuming anything with caffeine in it, no matter how small the dose is. And um, when I decided to have the iced hazelnut decaf coffee, I just, just definitely assumed the risk because I know like how I am when it comes to caffeine. And so anyways, round 28 of rolling 72s, I feel kind of like got the detox um, process going um, to get the caffeine out of my system. And I feel like that is what caused the headache. So yesterday I decided that I was going to just drink as much water as I possibly could to kind of like flush the caffeine out of my system as quickly as possible. And that plan definitely worked because I feel like so much better today. I still have a mild headache, but it's barely there. It's just barely there. Just, you know, a little bit of discomfort, not as bad as yesterday. And so anyways, I thought that for sure I would see evidence of all the water that I drank yesterday on the scale this morning and so I am so glad that I didn't and I'm definitely thankful for that. So anyways, I am doing rolling 72s right now. I am in round 28 of rolling 72s and I'm about 68 hours in. So this means that I have a refeed scheduled in a few hours. But my last refeed, not only did it cause like this intense headache, but it left me uncomfortably hungry. And so my last refeed was just an absolute like mess. I should not have had that refeed. So what I had for my last refeed was an iced hazelnut decaf coffee, um, coconut chunks and strawberries. And it was definitely good. And it was definitely filling at the time when I had it. And I could not eat any more food, even if like I had more food to eat. But like a few hours later, I was just like so hungry, it, it, just so uncomfortably hungry. And that like uncomfortableness has lasted for the duration of round 28 of rolling 72s. And so that's why I'm going to end this round early. And I think where I went wrong with my last refeed is that I did not have protein. So for this refeed, I am definitely going to have protein. Um in the form of two spicy sausage patties. Um, the brand is Bob Evans and that's 440 calories. And I'm also gonna have the coconut chunks. I am going to be having coconut chunks for many refeeds to come in the future because three shopping trips ago, I bought many bags and I have um, so many bags left um, to go through. So I'll be doing that for a while. And lastly, I will be having um, a whipped lemonade. So I have heavy cream that I was using for the uh, iced hazelnut decaf coffee, which I had for the last two refeeds. And I assumed I was going to be having one for this re refeed. And so I looked online yesterday for like ways that I could use my heavy cream to make a nice beverage. Um, and that's when I found the uh, whipped lemonade recipe. And it's really easy to make, which is good for me because um, I'm a new cook and following recipes with like too many ingredients gets to be like difficult for me. And so um, today's recipe consists of one fourth of a cup of fresh squeezed lemon juice. And that's 15 calories. And it also wants one fourth of a cup of uh, heavy cream. So that's two ounces, which is about 206 calories. And you're supposed to put the heavy cream and the lemon juice in the blender along with one cup of ice. 
and blend that and that's the drink which is um 221 calories total and my hope is that it tastes like chick-fil-a's frosted lemonade or as close to it as possible because that is one of my all-time favorite treats and so um I'm hoping today's recipe tastes good. If so, um, I'll probably be having it for um, some more refeeds in the future. So um, total calories today is 1,061 calories. This is probably like my largest meal like calorie wise um, of all time since being on this fasting journey. And in terms of carbs, it's like 9.06 carbs net carbs and so there's four net carbs in the coconut chunks and there is 5.06 net carbs in the lemon juice but these days my um focus is on fat it seems like you know for the past few refeeds ever since i've upped my like fat intake that um i haven't had like as big of a gain on the scale the next day after a refeed and so i'm gonna kind of focus on increasing my fat intake for the next several refeeds and just kind of see how that goes and so I'm definitely, you know, looking forward to today's refeed. So um, something that I wanted to talk about today is how it is definitely great to do your own grocery shopping because I don't know if you're like me, but I am just like a really picky eater and I have like all these rule rules about like how my food should be. Like, for instance, like, I like my bananas, like, green, but, like, it has to be a certain kind of green, and so it's kind of hard to describe, but I know it when I see it. So that's probably one of the reasons why it's best for me to do my own grocery shopping. And, like, for, like, blueberries, for example, um, I like them to be, like, a certain kind of firmness. I don't like them to be mushy, but I don't like them to be, like, very firm. Um, but just like kind of like somewhere in between something that's like closer to firm but it's just like a certain texture that I'm looking for and so with all these rules that I have and that's just a few of them I have so many others it's just best for me to do my own grocery shopping but sometimes it is a good idea to like you know pay the extra fees and have someone else do the grocery shopping for you and yesterday I kind of felt like it was just best to have someone else grocery shop for me so um I used Instacart and there's like other shopping like services that you can use. I think I found out recently that DoorDash um, has like a grocery service where you can order groceries and have the Dasher um, pick out your stuff and deli deliver it to you. And I think in my area, a few of the grocery stores um, let you order directly from them and then they'll have somebody like deliver the groceries to you. But like I said, I used Instacart yesterday and it just worked out for me. Um, because yesterday I had like this huge headache and I was in absolutely no mood whatsoever to do any kind of grocery shopping yesterday. I wasn't in the mood to do anything at all, really. Um, and in addition, you know, to get rid of the headache, I was drinking a, a lot of water yesterday, a lot more than what I usually do. So um, I was in and out of the bathroom for most of the day. And so it was just probably best to have someone else do the grocery shopping for me so that I could be near a bathroom. Um, another reason why um, it worked out to have a grocery shopper um, do my shopping for me yesterday is because, you know, my last refeed left me just very hungry. And when I go grocery shopping, um, when I am very hungry, um, that's when I'm prone to like make bad choices with my foods. And I usually buy like way more food than what I usually need. And um, also, as a result of shopping kind of like with my eyes um, rather than my stomach on um, days when I'm very hungry, um, I'm more inclined to make impulse like um, decisions and buy in bulk. And that's kind of like what happened to me um, three shopping trips ago when I bought you know, just one bag of coconut chunks and the cashier like just mentioned how they had been flying off the shelf and that set something off inside of me and um, caused me to go back and buy every single bag of coconut chunks sitting on the shelf, which is why I have so many bags of them now. And so um, when I go grocery shopping when I'm hungry, I just, you know, have issues, um, you know, with making the right choices. It's a problem I know that I have. I'm working on it. And so... Um, 
Instacart has definitely come in handy um, for me over the years. So there's been like two occasions where I have sprained my left ankle. And so moving around was really difficult for me, especially because I was 219 pounds at the time and um, my ankle just could not support all that weight. So I had to like walk around with a cane. And so um, instead of doing the grocery shopping for myself, I um, had Instacart do the grocery shopping for me during those um, occasions when I was injured. And um, before my 40 day water fast ended, I had absolutely like no energy whatsoever. And so I could not even drive myself to the car, uh, to the store because um, first of all, my re reflexes were slow and it just like felt like my car was like so heavy to maneuver. And I just had so much trouble sitting up because I just did not have the energy to sit up. So it was not wise for me to like go grocery shopping. And so I had Instacart um, go out to my local, you know, grocery store to buy me some food for my refeed. And um, I'm really glad that that was a service that was available to me. Otherwise, I don't know what I would have done um, to get my groceries. And so um, anyways, um, that's just some of the benefits of having someone else do the shopping for you on occasion. And it definitely does get expensive if you're having someone go grocery shopping for you. Um, for like every like trip. But on occasion, you know, it's, you know, nice to have someone step in and do the shopping for you. And so I definitely did that yesterday and I was so thankful. And my, you know, shopper did a pretty good job picking out, you know, the foods that I like and um, he followed directions. And so I'm definitely thankful for him and he earned his tip. And so um, anyways, I just wanted to share that with you today. And so I'm going to go so I can start, you know, preparing my um, meal for today and I will talk to you tomorrow. I hope that you have an amazing Friday. Take care. Bye.